Good evening, ladies. I am the Cynic. I'm here to tell you a sad truth that none of you want to hear. A truth that you've all been denying, rationalizing, and justifying against for years. It's a truth that makes you uncomfortable to acknowledge, hurts your self-esteem, and may even make you hate me for telling you. Your choices have consequences, and not all of them you'll like. What do I mean by this? Well, allow me to tell you a few things that will happen within the next 10 to 30 years. Single mothers will become more and more abandoned. Despite what you may think about deadbeat dads and women being victims, the sad fact of the matter is that with both female birth control and abortions, unplanned babies don't just happen, as many of you like to think. Yeah, sure, unintendencies and unintended pregnancies happen, but the baby being born and kept by the mother does not just happen. It's a result of conscious decisions made on her part. I hold no pity for consequences of choices that people make. And I advocate the same to others. Your decisions to keep the child were yours and yours alone. And if the father leaves, it was your choice to get fucked and impregnated by a man who you chose and either didn't know very well or didn't care to know. After all, it's not like you were walking down the street and just slipped, up, slipped on some ice onto some guy's dick. But no, no, no. You're the victim, aren't you? Yeah. You're the poor little helpless woman who life just happened to, aren't you? At least that's the way you see it, right? Now, let me give you a little reality check for how decent men see you. You're an idiot. You're an idiot who's doomed not only her life, but the life of her child for her carelessness and lack of foresight. You're untrustworthy, incapable of future considerations, weak and foolish. The reality of the situation is that despite your victimhood, you made decisions that left you in a position of hardship in supporting both yourself and your child on your own. You can blame the man. You can blame the man all you want. But what's that get you really? aside from maybe child support. Does that fix the family? Does that give your child a father figure? Does that give him or her a male role model in the house? No. No, it doesn't. But you're not really concerned about that, are you? Because poor you, right? Little Junior, oh, fuck little Junior, put, put him in the corner. The, me! Focus on me! Poor me! And, and poor him, you know, children. But me, I, I'm the victim. The government of the Western worlds are taking on exuberant amounts of debt. The United States has, alone, alone has over $18 trillion of debt and rising. How long do you think the government will continue to help you? How long do you think food stamps will last? Child assistance? The adjusted utility and housing rates? How long do you think you have before that money dries up? And if you think men will come to your rescue, oh, do I have some news for you. Marriage rates are falling. How many Simpson manginas will be willing to commit to you and your foolish choices? How many of them will support you? Colleges are pumping them out like hotcakes, but even they will eventually be too downtrodden and used up to be of utility to you. Assuming they can find jobs outside of McDonald's and Starbucks, of course. At some point in the not-too-distant future, your victimhood will mean nothing, and only the results of your choices will be there to offer you comfort. This shift will come when single mothers are finally called to task because attacking the deadbeat dads isn't resulting in lower single-parent households. When society realizes that it's paying for and even encouraging your idiocy and has had enough, when people finally realize that your agency was exercised and questions why strong women need their help. When people finally decide to treat women with the equality that they've demanded for years. That is when the shift will happen. Your heroism will come to its due end. And you'll be left to, fee to really face the consequences of the life you should have. I can hear it now, the calls of me being a misogynist, that I, that I hate women, and that I don't care about children. Well, the last one's true, I, I don't care about children, and I refuse to let the shame of that truth protect you from the long time coming suffering that you've set yourselves up for. Why? 
I don't like being people sheltered from their elected options, especially while standing atop stages propped up by helpless and innocent children who didn't get a choice in being born, and all the while shouting, It's for them! It's for the children! No. No. I'm a man of consequences, because consequences are what keep people's decisions in line. Consequences are what make people responsible and accountable, and consequences are what people deserve to face for their retarded choices in life. In the end, ladies, results are all that matter. Where you are now, despite everything negative in your life, are the results of the choices you have made. And no amount of shouting, VICTIM BLAMING! VICTIM BLAMING! will change that. Money's running out, society's going to hell, and soon enough, the bed you've made for yourselves will be calling your name. You've made your beds, and soon you will lie in them. I do hope that your continued touting of victim blaming will see you through when that time comes. I am the Cynic, everybody. Have a nice day.